<laughs> oh! Ava and Lude. Yes. I've never done that. I've never played through that third DLC, and I've never played through this version of the game. So this is going to be like a completely new game for me. I'm scared. I'm worried. I'm just, this is going to go so poorly. Have you... Perhaps you've seen... Okay, you've 100% the original game. Have you ever played next-gen Scholar of the First Sin? Because it's a completely different game. Item locations are all scrambled up. Enemy locations are... I think that's... I think it's just the items that are all scrambled and mishmashed in weird places. A place where so and there's also, like, additional encounters and shit. Ailing mind. <laughs> I opened your sealed copy to play this. No, I've never played next gen. 360 was enough for you. Man, I... I am so weirdly in a love-hate relationship with Dark Souls 2. The symbol of the curse. That was like the last game I bought at launch. Up and until I got... Darkness. Up until Resident Evil 4 Remake. Your past I was so disappointed future. in Dark Souls Your 2 the first time I played light. it that I decided to never buy a game on release again until like hearing reviews for things. But going back to it as the years went by, I liked it more and more each time. If you don't consider it like a Dark Souls Dark Souls game, and just kind of its own neat little spin-off, it's pretty fucking good. A hollow. A hollow. Hammy ma! Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north... Can you bake me some cookies? A great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? This did look pretty amazing for 360. But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. I know why. It's because I'm here to suffer. Do you think this is my first rodeo, Grandma? I still don't understand what this is supposed to be. Yeah, that's exactly the boat I'm in. I don't care what anyone says, this is not a bad game. It isn't Dark Souls by any means, but you love the game and its environment. I also- I think the environments of the game are super strong. I think the map overall sucks, because it's so dumb and nonsensical. But I think that's kind of the beauty of it, too. Once you start looking at this game as just its standalone game that plays like Dark Souls, it becomes a really good game. Do we ever get an explanation for what this is? Like a moth drawn to a flame. Now I like me some gaping holes. Your wings will burn in anguish. But I don't know if I'm willing to dive into this one. Time after time. Oh, who am I kidding? Let me add your fate. The fate of the cursed. Whee! The only thing I can think that this is is like we're diving into some sort of weird dimensional rift. Oi, see this sword here? Tis fake, but you'll kill me for it anyway, cause it's shiny. Goddamn right I will. I think that's... Is there a dragon... Is is there an actual Moonlight Greatsword in this game, or is it only the fake? I... I am flipped around, I don't know where I'm going. Help. 
Here I am. I have managed to hit one of these guys, and it's just about the biggest mistake you're going to make at the start of a Dark Souls run. Let's see if I can do it anyway. Because they all gang up at you all at once. Oh man, they're being s being very uncooperative. Okay. Now we fucked up. <laughs> oh god, there's so many! What is your name? What's my name? What is what is my name? Uh Uh Steve Wellington. That doesn't go all the way. Half Marmon. Half Marmon, yes. It's the only appropriate name. Go back, thank you. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back. I think it's a Give weird little bundle of twigs. Past. Yes. It's an effigy of you. Yeah, probably. Glabella, because the average Dark Souls player is going to know what a Glabella is. I don't even know what's changing. Uh oh! <laughs> Never mind. That's clearly what it is. <laughs> look at that, look at that! That is just the Giga Chad jawline. I have never wanted anything more. There we go. <laughs> We've, we're mewing. <laughs> oh no! Hormones. What about green? I'm a blue boy. I was born this way. I'm gonna change my hair. We gotta look sharp. Yeah, that's my true self, all right. I've never felt more represented in a video game before oh, in my life. Here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. <laughs> my existence is a curse Don't now. Stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. I know you're just jealous you don't have a jawline like me. Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I have a bad idea and I shouldn't do it. How about I do this? Can I do this? <laughs> That's... That's I like that's so stupid I like it. Make it even tinier, fit it in better. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> We're over a touch too far. I 
I think that'll work. This is a this is us to now t tonight now. I'll hail half Marmon. Yes, he's the new channel mascot. I will force this meme to the day I die. Okay, there. That that's better. That's not the path to the. This is dark. So fuck you. That's not the path to the Cyclops. Here's those classic Dark Souls hitboxes. Oh, that's right! I don't have any iframes in my role right now! Because adaptability is a skill! We don't need to read any of these, it's just basic game mechanics. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> 